going on, truth saying, hey man, I can't talk to y'all about what a toxic person is, a narcissist, a bipolar person, a manipulative, and a player victim person is. Now, let me tell y'all about a toxic person. A toxic person provokes you at all times. No matter what the fuck it is, a toxic person make a little argument big in the motherfucker for no apparent reason, bro. It's really no reason why they make an argument, bro. It's like you can have a conversation about something, right? That little conversation that you have can become big than a motherfucker. Like, say, say if y'all was talking about some simple shit, food or 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 a clothes or a car or some shit some little ass incident and you try to make a little you try to make your little situation and tell her like or tell her or something for fellas for real tell her rather a man too tell her right and you be like yeah such and such is supposed to go this way or this supposed to go this way she be like no it's supposed to go this fucking way or try to force it upon bro any little situation any little situation become big off somebody's aggressiveness that's how a toxic person act they so aggressive with everything or get get offended or on the defensive side with everything that is a toxic person that where they defensive every time you say something to them they don't like it they shut down or stop talking okay a narcissist person they make everything self-oriented nigga everything everything is blamed on you bro shit if her car fucked up or fellas this for this for this for uh i'm gonna say this more so for fellas because i know a lot it's not women are the most narcissistic people in the world i'm gonna be honest with you bro even though it's dudes out here that's narcissistic but that shit really come from women bro i'm gonna be honest bro it comes from women bro so the real, the real, but the fucked up part about it is when a person's, uh, a woman's with a narcissistic man, she don't know that she's narcissistic until she gets into a relationship and somebody is letting her know, her other dude is letting her know that, that she's narcissistic. Like, cause everything's self-oriented. They're net, they're naturally selfish. They don't give a fuck about how your feelings is, what's wrong with you, what's going on with you. They don't care. They don't care if you cry or nothing. Everything is self-oriented. All they think about is them. So if something's going bad in their life, it's really your fault. That's how a narcissist is. And on, on a man's side too, that's how it is. If something's going bad in their life, it's, it's your fault because you made them, you made them this way or you put them in that situation. You may be a nigga that just came in or a woman that just came in that person's life and that's what's going on. A bipolar motherfucker. Let me break something down to you. Bipolar is the worst people in the world, bro, to ever be with. That shit could turn into a fatal attraction. I'm gonna tell you why I can turn into a fatal attraction. It's because when you're dealing with a bipolar woman, bro, it's very fucked up because you don't know if they're going to do something to your children. That's why I say don't cheat on no bipolar woman, bro, because you don't know where their mind frame be at already. Some of them already be depressed. They be mentally fucked up. You don't know what the fuck they're going to do to your kids. Even men, bipolar men too, bro. It depends on how deep. It's different levels of bipolar, bro. You got the violent bipolar. You got the, the calm, the twisted bipolar. You got the, the over-extreme bipolar. You got the the, the, the harm the harm in they self bipolar, bro. It's a different type of bipolars out here, bro. For real, bro. Motherfuckers, some motherfuckers will harm your kids just because... They don't want to, they stand, They can't stand to see your kid's face every day. Every time they look at your kids, they see your face. Whether that's a man or a woman, bro. But a woman bipolar is way worse, bro. Because it's like, you don't know what type of ed she on with that shit. She may want to kill herself, whatever. And then y'all may be arguing 10 seconds later and she be cool. She be cool after another 10 seconds, bro. Bipolar is really a bad a brain disorder. And that shit can get bad if you let it get bad. And, and, and if you don't know... That's why I tell motherfuckers, you don't know what really people be suffering through through their mental, bro. So you be having to be careful with certain shit. Uh, a manipulator. Let me tell you what a manipulator is. There are the people that is vulnerable. They the one, they're the ones to where they literally, they're literally fuck with somebody head and they mind and they heart. Just to, just to flip, fuck them over in the end and be like, oh, it's their fault why they situations. They need to start taking accountability for what the fuck they doing. They'll probably bring you to their hometown, bring you into their house. You might feel like you're in a relationship. Whole time they doing that shit just to get back at somebody. That's a manipulator, bro. They will do shit just to do shit to get some type of joy out of it. That is what a manipulator does, bro. They does shit like that. A manipulator will do shit just to get some joy out of some shit. Like, they, like they'll fuck your, they'll fuck your life up. Like, even with women, bro, I'm gonna break this shit down with you. I'm gonna say another thing about manipulation, and this on the women's side. Uh, the fucked up part about it is, fellas, women, women can use up women. We can't waste women's time, but they don't have a problem when it comes to, we can't waste their time, but they sure don't have a problem with wasting ours. They, we, they, we can waste the, we can't waste their time. They sure don't have a problem when it come to ours wasting our motherfucking time. That's the problem. So it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a double standard shit for me. 
the double standard shit for me be killing me, bro. Because it's like y'all can waste our time, but y'all don't have y'all can waste our time, but y'all have a problem with us wasting y'all's. That's what I'm saying. So I tell I tell niggas every day, bro, just watch how you move, bro. Being the most vulnerable to a certain particular woman and you don't know how she is, bro, that's going to fuck you up, fellas. Believe me, I have went through it, bro. I understand, bro. I went through it multiple times. Sometimes you can't be so vulnerable, bro, because it's like you don't know who you really opening up to. And at the end of the day, bro, motherfuckers get mad when you express yourself. And you make, you make, and every man got different ways of venting, bro. Every man. We all motivational speakers, nigga. We probably music, whatever, bro. Talking to people, therapy, whatever, bro. Either way it go, bro. We all got different ways that we vent. And that's just one thing. Let me tell you, let me tell you about a planned victim, motherfucker. A planned victim person is the worst. They don't take accountability for nothing they do. I'm the nigga where if I do something, bro, I take accountability and say I'm not perfect because I'm not. We all, we all may do some shit that we don't catch ourselves doing. But at the end of the day, the point of growth in a relationship with a, with a female, bro, as a man, is you admitting to what you wrong. But that person, if a female honestly loves you, bro, fellas, and, and ladies, if, if, they, if they honestly love you, you would not have to force them to apologize about what the fuck they've done. Period. You would not have to force that. You would not have to force that, period. A motherfucker who care about you, they will admit to their wrong off rip. They admit to their wrongs off rip. But a person who don't give a fuck about you, bro, they stuck in their own head, bro. Pe people who are uh, like have mental challenges in their head, bro, to where they say they be like, like, like that playing victim shit. They will try to flip everything on you like it's your fault. For real, bro. For real, bro. Like playing victim is another thing. A motherfucker, you would tell a motherfucker about you admitted to what you done wrong, but then you would tell them about they so they be like, oh yeah, remember you did this. But, but but you did that. Oh, yeah, but you did this. Or, oh, yeah, but you did that. That's my thing, bro. A motherfucker, a, a person who plays victim always going to point the finger back at you, bro. They're never going to take accountability for their situations. Later on, later on, they won't even apologize. You got to keep talking about the same shit for them to understand what's going on. Because true, true from reality, with a woman who plays victim, she don't give a fuck about nothing. She feel like everything's your fault. Period. That's what it is, bro. They're going to be like, oh, well. But, but see, the thing about women, bro. Stop provoking your man. Stop that shit, bro. Stop doing that shit because it's not a good thing for you to do. Because it's like you don't know what type of guy you're dealing with. And if a nigga letting you know off Rick what type of man he is, bro, stop it. Stop it, bro. Because there's a lot of guys out here who are good guys and love to be the man that they are. A lot of you bitches be wanting niggas to save y'all from y'all fucked up domestic ass relationships. Y'all, oh, I always hear when I get a good man, I'm going to do this. Bro, I learned that women just say shit because it sound good to them. That's why they, I just, I learned that a lot of women just say shit. A lot of these bitches nowadays say shit, period. Not even women. A lot of bitches say shit because it sounds good to them. Or oh, when I get me a good man, I'm going to do this. But you got a good man and you don't know how to treat him. So what does that make you? I just want y'all to sleep on this, bro. I just had to talk about this, bro, because it's like a lot of motherfuckers don't speak the truth. We live in a world where the truth is not a such thing. So I'm going to tell y'all, I spoke on all that shit. So I hope, I hope that resonate with y'all somewhere. I'm glad I woke y'all up somewhere. Peace. Follow me at actual truth underscore. Follow me at tg.truth. Like, comment, subscribe to actual truth. Peace.